Yo, what's up guys? It's Noah here. Uh, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking through a couple player props I like on prize picks for today's MLB slate on Wednesday, July the 3rd. Uh, we once again have a full slate of MLB games today, 15 games. So going to be a lot of props to choose from, guys. I got two early plays that I do like for this Wednesday slate that we're going to talk about that we're going to share in this video. Now, as always, before we do get started breaking down the plays, if you guys do enjoy these prize picks videos, if they do help you out, Make sure to hit that like button down below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And if you guys are new to Prize Picks, and if you don't have an account over on Prize Picks, you can sign up linked down below in the description, or just use that promo code NOLA. When you sign up for Prize Picks, get your first deposit matched up to $100. And also, do want to shout out Sleeper because we do have a partnership with Sleeper as well. You guys can check out Sleeper linked down below in the description, or again, just use that promo code NOLA over on Sleeper to get your first deposit matched up to $100. And uh, if you don't know what Sleeper is, they are a DFS pick'em app similar to Prize Picks, where you're picking more or less over under on player projections. You bu uh, you're building out an entry. You can make up to an eight pick entry on Sleeper. You can win up to 100X your money. And Sleeper, they do offer discounts throughout the week. Usually it's on Wednesday and Sundays that they do discounts. So today is Wednesday. They should have discounts up for today. I think it's typically two discounts they give. Um, it could be for MLB, it could be for a different sport, but usually for the discounts, it's a $10 limit, but you can use it towards any entry. You can pair it with any sports you like. Uh, so definitely take advantage of those. And again, if you guys don't have an account over on Sleeper, use that promo code NOLA when you sign up to get your first deposit matched up to $100. Now, before we talk through our props for Wednesday, guys, I do want to recap the plays we gave out in Tuesday's video. Uh, Tuesday did not go well, man. We took uh, Carlos Carrasco under... 27 and a half fantasy score and Carrasco pitched a really good game. He went six innings, had seven strikeouts, did give up three earned runs, but you know he still was able to get a quality start, was still able to go over his fantasy score line. And then we took uh, Luis Hill over 35 fantasy score and Hill once again had a really rough start, just couldn't really get much going against the Reds. He, he started off pretty well, like the first few innings he was pitching well, but then it kind of went to shit. His command was off. He was walking batters. He had some long innings. And then he gave up a home run to, I think it was to Will Benson. And it was you know going to be hard for him to go over his fancy score after he had given up like three runs. And he really wasn't getting many strikeouts either, which in that matchup against the Reds, you know, thought there was a lot of strikeout upside there for Hill. But it didn't work out Tuesday. We're going to run it back, though, for Wednesday slate. We're going to find two plays and hopefully find two, you know, two winners here uh, for this Wednesday slate. So talking through the two props I'm liking for today, guys. First prop we're going to take a look at. Is going to be a pitching outs prop, and the problem like in here is uh, Miles Michaelis more than 17 and a half pitching outs. And let's talk through this prop on Michaelis and why I like this. So, Michaelis this season has uh, been able to go six innings or more in 10 out of 17 starts. So, 10 out of 17 starts this season, he has you know gone over this pitching outs line. And if you look at Michaelis, you know, this season, what he's done, he's not a pitcher that does like a lot of things great. Like, if you look at his expected ERA, his expected batting average. Most of his metrics rank you know, league average or below league average. But what Michaelis is really good at is not walking batters. He has really good command. He's able to throw strikes. And that typically allows him to pitch deep into games when he's not really, you know, when he's not giving up a bunch of hits. Now, when you're a pitcher that doesn't have a lot of strikeout upside and you, you know, just throw a lot of strikes, that can definitely lead to you know, guys putting balls in play, getting hits, you know, getting hard contact. But I'm not really worried about that happening here against a weak Pittsburgh offense. Pittsburgh, if you look at where they rank this season against right-handed pitching, they've been pretty much bottom five in almost every offensive metric versus right-handed pitching this season. They rank 26th in uh, average. They rank 27th in on-base percentage, uh, 29th in slugging, 29th in OPS, 28th in WRC+. So Pittsburgh pretty much bottom five in every offensive metric versus right-handed pitching. They're not a team you should really be scared of offensively. And Michaelis has already faced Pittsburgh once this season, and he went seven innings in that start, so he got 21 pitching outs last time he faced the Pirates. I like the matchup here for Michaelis. It's a good pitcher's ballpark, you know, playing in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's ballpark has always played relatively pitcher-friendly. So there's a lot of boxes checked here for Michaelis. He's been pitching well lately, been able to go six innings or more in four out of his last five starts. He's actually gone six innings or more, and I believe, yes, yeah, six out of his last seven starts. So... I like what I'm seeing from Michaelis right now. I like the matchup here. Again, even though Michaelis is not a pitcher that you know gets a lot of strikeouts, doesn't you know you know he doesn't really he's not a guy that's going to blow you away with his stuff. He's able to command the zone. He's able to get you know uh, ground balls. He's able to get some weak you know 
you know, weak contact, and that's what we want when we're talking, you know, when we're betting a pitcher's over pitching outs. We don't care if the pitcher gets a strikeout, if he gets a ground ball, if he gets a fly out, it all counts as one out, you know, regardless. So really what we want is quick outs, and Michaelis is a pitcher that can get quick outs because of his ability to, again, command the zone, throw a lot of strikes, um, you know, make Badgers put balls in play. So do like this is our first prop for tonight, guys. Miles Michaelis, more than 17 and a half pitching outs. And then the other prop that I like to pair with that is a pitcher strikeout combo prop. Uh, if you don't know what this is, really simple, really self-explanatory. You're pretty much just taking two pitchers to combine for more or less than what their strikeout combo projection is. And Prize Picks has Ryan Pepio and Michael Waka set at nine and a half strikeouts. And I like the over here, more than nine and a half Ks for these two guys. Let's talk through this you know, combo and why I like this one. So if we look at Ryan Pepio this season, he has been a really good strikeout pitcher. Really good strikeout rate this season, 28.7% K percentage for Pepio, which ranks 87th percentile, well above league average. Pepio has also done a good job getting swings and misses. His whip percentage is 86th percentile, so not only is he getting a lot of strikeouts, he's getting batters to swing and miss at his pitches. And although this matchup against Kansas City is a tough one on paper, Kansas City, if you look this season, does have the fourth lowest K rate versus right-handed pitching. Kansas City has been striking out more as of late, over the last 30 days versus right-handed pitching, the Royals do rank 18th in strikeout rate, 21% K percentage over the last uh, 30 days. And then if you look over the last 14 days, I think their K percentage is like 21 point, yeah, 21.7%. So although Kansas City, you know, this season has not been a high strikeout team versus right-handed pitching, for one, they're facing a really good strikeout pitcher in Pepio, who has shown good K stuff this season. But also, as of late, the Royals have been striking out more. So I think this is a spot where Pepio can definitely exceed his his K prop. Like his K prop for today, I think is set at five. Honestly, I kind of like that as well. Pepio for more than five strikeouts. But we're going to talk about the other side of this game with Michael Waka, and I also like Waka to have a pretty good start here against um, against Tampa Bay. Now Waka, not the same pitcher as Pepio. Pepio is a guy that has really good strikeout stuff. Waka, not as good strikeout stuff this season. Waka has just a twenty and a half percent K percentage. But Waka's matchup is a lot better for strikeouts. He gets to face the Rays. And if you look at this season against right-handed pitching, the Rays do have a top 10 strikeout rate. Uh, top 10 strikeout rate. They rank 10th in K rate, 23.7% uh, K percentage for Tampa Bay, uh, which is 10th most. So although Waka, not really a high strikeout guy, he's getting a much you know, better matchup here for Ks uh, facing Tampa Bay, who will swing and miss, who will strike out. And if you look at Waka's game log lately, I mean, he's been pretty good with Ks. And he's had some good matchups, been able to get some Ks. Now, sure, only got two Ks against San Diego, but that's a really tough matchup for strikeouts. You would have definitely expected him to get more than three Ks against Detroit, but he did face this Tampa Bay team recently, racked up seven strikeouts, had five Ks against Texas, tough matchup against Cleveland, and he got six strikeouts. So I think we can probably get five, six strikeouts here from, from Waka. Honestly, wouldn't be surprised if we get five, six strikeouts as well from Pepio. And I think both these guys have a good chance of going over their original lines, which are both set at five. If anything, with Waka having a K prop set at five, with Pepio having a K prop set at five, this strikeout combo should probably be set at 10 and not nine and a half. So I think we're getting a little bit of value here. Uh, but I do like this strikeout combo. Again, I think both these guys can get us five Ks, if not more. Maybe maybe Waka's not on his game and maybe he only gets three or four Ks, but maybe Pepio is pitching really well and racks up six or seven Ks. So there's a lot of ways this could cash. It's not like you need you know, Waka to get five, you need Pepio to get five. I mean, Pepio could get seven, Waka could get three. It's, it's a lot of ways this could go, but I do like this spot for both these guys. Uh, Pepio, again, really good strikeout pitcher. Not the easiest matchup for Ks, but the Royals have been striking out more as of late. And then Waka, not a great strikeout pitcher, but gets a really good strikeout matchup against Tampa Bay, who has a top 10 K rate versus right-handed pitch in the season. So that's what we're going to be rolling with, guys, as our two plays for this slate on Wednesday. Miles Michaelis, more than 17 and a half pitching outs, and then Ryan Pepio and Michael Waka to combine for more than nine and a half strikeouts. So if you guys are going to be telling me on these two plays, let's hopefully hit both these plays today, make some money on this Wednesday slate. Always appreciate you guys watching this video. Uh, make sure to hit that like button down below if you did enjoy. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And again, if you guys are new to Prize Picks, if you don't have an account over on Prize Picks, use that promo code NOAA when you sign up to get your first deposit matched up to $100 over on Prize Picks. But good luck tonight, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, let's make some money tonight, and I will see you guys in the next video.